Hi, boys and girls. Here to tell you the story on our second Sunday of Lent. I hope you sing the story song with me. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This is the season of Lent, a time of getting ready. A time where we learn about the mystery of Easter. A time when we are all on our way to Jerusalem. But who will show us the way to Jerusalem? Jesus will. Once a year, the people of God would travel to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover. They would travel to Jerusalem, the holy city of God. Jesus too was on his way to Jerusalem. People wanted to hear Jesus talk. Two of his disciples came close to him as people kept asking him questions. As Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, several children came from different directions. They too were eager to hear about Jesus and to hear the stories that Jesus told them. They began to get closer to Jesus, but the disciples suddenly said, no, do not bother Jesus. But Jesus said, no, let the children come to me, for it's for them that are the kingdom of God. So the disciples allowed all the children to come to Jesus, where he hugged them and blessed them. And then, Jesus said to the disciples and all the others that were there listening, you need to come to heaven with the faith of a little child. Those with the faith of a young child will be admitted to heaven. These children felt they'd heard about Jesus and they knew they were going to get to see him. I wonder if they were excited. I wonder if they were a little nervous. If they were jumping around, if they were running, if they were talking to each other. And I wonder how they felt when suddenly the disciples said no in kind of a strict way. Tell someone at your house how you think they, you would have felt then. Did anybody say frightened or angry? Maybe confused? But then Jesus told the disciples to stop. 
and to let the children come. Did they go back to feeling happy? Do you think you would? Hmm. Think about that. Kind of like a roller coaster. Happy and then confused and then happy again. When Jesus gave them a hug and blessed them, who's somebody at your house that you like to get a hug from? Or maybe you have a grandfather or a grandmother that you don't get to see all the time. How does a hug feel from them? I bet this is even a better hug than that. Hmm. But learning about the kingdom of God, that there's a place for all of us. I wonder if the children that saw him that day are learning that too just like you are. They got to hear it right from Jesus. We're learning it from the Bible. And we know that that's the book that God wrote. So it's kind of like from Jesus too. Now the stories that I'm going to tell you while we're in Lent and getting ready for Easter are all in the Jesus Storybook Bible. In fact, on this page you can see that the disciples are telling that no, the children can't come. There's a picture of one of the children coming to Jesus. And even on the next page, it shows them all, all around Jesus talking to the person that gave him the flowers. So check that story out when you get home. Or if you have your Bible right now, you can go find it. But I'm going to read out of the Bible. I'm going to go to the book of Luke. Had a lot of stories in Matthew. I'm turning to Matthew, Mark, Luke, the third book. Chapter 18. Children were wanting to come to see Jesus. They wanted to touch him and be close to him. And when the disciples saw this, they said, Stop! Do not come closer. Don't bother Jesus. But Jesus asked the children, Come to me. Let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. God's kingdom belongs to people like them. What I'm about to tell you is true. Anyone who will not receive God's kingdom like a little child, will never enter it. I heard the words God's kingdom. I heard that we have to believe just like a child, which is so awesome, because that means that God only wants you to believe right now about Jesus. And if you believe in him now, there's a spot for you in his kingdom. I'll put this marker that has a child and it has Jesus Put it right there. And everything in the Bible we know is absolutely true. It's absolutely true. Everything in the Bible is absolutely true. Let's fold our hands and think about the things that we believe. You believe that your mom and dad love you. 
you believe that your family loves you. And think about how much God loves you and Jesus loves you. Say thank you to God for those people that love you. Dear God, thank you for the boys and girls watching this story uh, on their television. Help them know that God is with me as I'm telling this story and he's with them as they're watching this story. And even though we're not in the same spot, that God is. God is with us everywhere. He knows everything that's happening. Please help us to remember that we don't have to be confused about God's love and Jesus' love, that we can just love him and he knows he loves us back. Thank you for all the things you give us and all the ways you have to learn all about God and your holy word that we can read from. In Jesus' name, amen. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. After Jesus died on the cross and rose again, then ascended to heaven, he left us the Holy Spirit.